Hello, Mel Wilson here, product manager at EasyWebPlayer.com. Today I want to show you how to set up a live video feed using your EasyWebPlayer account. A few things you're going to need before we begin is a valid EasyWebPlayer account, an RTMP server that's already set up for you, and a nice one that I found was at Adobe.com called Flash Media Development Server 3.5. And lastly, you're going to need a program to stream your video to your RTMP server. And the one I'll be using today is Flash Media Live Encoder 3.1. This too can be found at Adobe.com. The nice thing with this is you can use it for Mac or Windows. Today I'll be using it on my Windows machine. Now to start, let's open up our program and start streaming our video. Once you have Flash Media Live Encoder 3.1 open, you're going to want to put a check mark next to video and audio and then set up both of these devices. The video device I'll be using is my webcam, which is a Microsoft LiveCam VX3000. My format is H.264, which is high quality. I'll be using a frame rate of 29.97, which is the average for web video. And I have a custom size set up as my video dimensions for 400 by 300, which is a basic 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Now for my audio device, I'm using my headphones, and they have a microphone at the end of them. My audio is going to be MP3. I have channels set up to mono. My sample rate from audio is 4100, and my bit rate is going to be 80. Now you can see that we can't start streaming our video right away. What you first have to do is select an RTMP server and you're going to put the URL to your RTMP server's live folder. Ours is going to be rtmp colon slash slash livecap dot increase sales video dot com slash live and I've named my stream office. Now let's connect to make sure that our stream works. Okay, it looks like it connected. Okay, now that our stream is connected, let's go to our Easy Web Player account and go to Video, Add New Video. And you're going to see last option is Use an RTMP Live Streams URL. We're going to make sure this is selected, and this should change to a text box to let us put in the URL to our live stream. This can be found. Let's disconnect our live stream to get our URL. Copy the URL to the live folder and paste it into this text box. Add another slash and don't forget to put your stream name. Otherwise it won't know what stream to connect to. And we're going to select next. Now let's name our stream. Sample live stream. And next. Now, since our live stream is set up to 400 by 300, which is a standard aspect ratio, I've got my aspect ratio set to standard, and I have my player size as close to that aspect ratio as possible. So I've got 400 by 318. And the reason this last number has 18 on it, instead of being rounded up to 300, is because the control bar under the video is going to be 18 pixels big. We can go to finish. And you can see you've added your video to your video list. Now we can go to play and test out our video. Let's make sure our stream is running. Okay, it's connected. Now on our video, all the average user has to do is when they go to your website, just hit play and it'll connect to your live stream. And there we go. Let's just test to make sure the live stream's working. And voila, your stream is set up. Have a nice day. This is easywebplayer.com.